Hey everybody, this is Steve J. Klein back again with another coin video. And today we're going to be talking about the 1950 to 2012 Canadian cents. Uh, I'll talk in a minute exactly why I've ranged those dates specifically for these pennies um, in, in regards to the values. Um, so we'll go ahead and talk about that and we'll also talk about why these pennies were not uh, produced after 2012 and what happened after 2012. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and take a look. All right, so I have two different coins here with me today. I have Queen Elizabeth. Uh, she is the face of the coins from 1953 to 2012. I'm gonna take a look on the back here and show you this is just a 1985 most of the canadian cents they pretty much all look the same i think they did if i'm not mistaken change the face a little bit of queen elizabeth uh from 1953 to 2012 i forgot exactly which year it is i'm not as familiar with these canadian cents but i do know a little bit about them uh, but essentially you know it's pretty standard coin as far as what you'll probably see from all those dates and uh, same with the back so from 1952 to 1950, um, you know, just going back that far for this video, uh, they did have King George VI that was on the penny before Queen Elizabeth, and he died, you know, uh, pretty soon, uh, or in, in close range to when uh, they made the change for these pennies here too. Um, and I do have this one as a 1942 cent, so obviously this is before 1950, but I just wanted to show this because it's the only one that I really have that is from uh, around that, uh, you know, around that time of 1950. It looks pretty similar for uh, King George here from 1950 to 1952. Um, you know, the, the face will, you know, pretty much be the same. So you may wonder why uh, these pennies did not... Uh, stop or why they did stop producing these pennies after 2012. Well, uh, just like the problem that we're actually having here today in America, it is becoming it became ex increasingly expensive for the government to produce the pennies. After you know, once they started getting close to 2012, there they realized that it was going to cost the government a lot of money to produce those pennies. Uh, where the government government might actually lose money. And so with that being said, what they did is they just pretty much stopped printing pennies. And so a lot of different uh, services or a lot of different goods in Canada is all um, in increments of five cents instead of one cents today. Um, different things like goods and, and uh, I think credit cards, they all have uh, you know, they all still do one cent increments. So for instance, you could be charged $19.22 on something on your, on your credit card, whereas some other things would be in increments of five cents. Uh, it's really strange how it's done, but I mean, because the government was just uh, losing money, that's just the way that they figured they had to do it there. So um, yeah, after 2012, they stopped producing those pennies and they only produced the five cent coins at that point. So you may be wondering now, what is the value of those pennies since they stopped producing them and has, have they gained any value uh, since 2012? Well, unfortunately the answer is no. So it really hasn't gained any value since, uh, since then. All those pennies are gonna be about their fair value of what they actually are. Uh, last time I checked, each penny is worth about three to four Canadian cents, which translated into uh, United States cents, that's about two cents a penny. So you could probably get two cents for each penny that you have. Uh, again, there was a lot that were minted between 1950 and 2012, and so unfortunately it's not really much of a value. Um, you know, I do think you could probably get two cents a piece for each of these, so if you have a whole bunch, maybe you could sell them as a lot. But unfortunately, like I said, there's just not a lot of value that's there. So, uh, but I hope this has been educational for you. This is something that uh, I think is just really interesting to learn about uh, world history. And I think uh, it's interesting to see because I do think here pretty soon, the government is starting to make that same decision for our own uh, economy. I've seen different articles and different headlines talking about how Lincoln sense might be um, you know, gotten rid of here in the next uh, few years, if not the next year or two. I did see one article that uh, was guessing that this next year 
uh, they were going to retire the Lincoln cent and just start doing five cent increments as well here. But um, that is to be determined. So um, thanks again for watching the video. And I do want to mention, thank you all for subscribing, by the way. I just reached 293 subscribers today. And I'm continually increasing in subscribers every single day. I think I'm uh, hitting almost uh, about 25 new subscribers each and every day. So I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to be doing a lot of fun and exciting videos here in the future. So just be on the lookout for that. And I look forward to talking to you all next time. Thanks so much.